For this question, we are being asked to describe how a carved product is made from natural timber by laminating. We can see that this question is worth six marks. Let's start by thinking what we are being asked to do by the command word describe. It is really important that you seek to understand what command words mean as this will help you to answer the question appropriately. The command word describe in this example is asking us to give a detailed account in words of how a particular process is completed. When describing processes, it is best practice to ensure that this is chronological and sequenced logically. Once you have clarified the command word and the expectations for your answer, it is important to consider the other keywords within the question. Here, we can see that these are curved product, natural timber and laminating. We know that the term laminating is a term that is used to describe the process of bonding layers of material together. In this case, natural timber. Timber is the general term used to define wood that is deemed suitable for use in building and manufacturing. For example, oak and pine. So, let's think of the processes we would go through to create a curved product. We should remember that we are looking for at least six clear points. First of all, I would start by explaining the term laminating and how natural timber in particular can be laminated together. This is a really simple process whereby PVA is used to glue thin sheets of timber together. I've added onto this sentence confirmation that I know that this process is called laminating. This will ensure that the examiner is clear that I understand technical and subject specific terminology. Once we have applied PVA to laminate the timber sheets together, we know that we should immediately shape this around a former whilst the PVA is still wet. A former is a 3D object that the laminated timber is moulded around to create the desired curve. Again, it is important here to show off your technical knowledge to the examiner and to use the word former rather than more informal alternatives such as 3D object or shape. It is also important to acknowledge here that you know a former will need to be made and prepared for this process before you wet your natural timber with PVA. This in itself is a task that could take several iterations. Although you may think it is common sense to leave the laminated sheets until the PVA has dried to allow the curve to set into place, it is important to ensure your answers are explicit and do not leave any detail out. Therefore, here I have wrote that the laminated sheets must be clamped into place and left until the PVA has dried. To conclude this answer, I have provided confirmation that the process is now finished and that the desired curve would be formed and can be carefully removed once the PVA has dried. We were aiming for at least six points to achieve the six marks which were available. You can see here that we have managed to provide six points, which hopefully will ensure that we have achieved the full amount of marks. It is always worth rereading and rechecking your answers before moving on to see if there are any further details or points required that you may have forgot to make to ensure that you do achieve 
the full amount of marks.